until you pay them. We haven't used them! I won't tell you again! Get off that castle! You mean this castle? Okay! Oh, there's two to be paid for! Why would we want two castles? Is this where the band auditions are? What band auditions? What on earth is all this? You tell me. You should be ordering things you don't want, mate. I didn't! Well, who did? Tracy Beaker! What? What possessed you to order two bouncy castles? For my birthday party, of course. It isn't your birthday for three days. Yeah, we well, get a special deal if you take them all week. Tracy! Now what are you doing? Uh, making room for my giant birthday cake. It'll be a chocolate sponge. Chocolate sponge? That's why I'm organising my birthday party myself. Well, you can unorganise it. So all I'm going to have for my 13th is some measly fireworks and a bunch of boring caterers. F fireworks? W what caterers? Now there's a guy from a fancy dress shop out there. Ah! I've got past the parcel to look forward to. Do you mind? Sorry. Oh, must be so hard when someone's dad has got them a new mobile phone and you haven't got one. Did I mention dad put lots of cool time on it as well? See ya. Yeah, well, only because he's never going to get round to taking home to live. Oh, I hate Justin Littlewood. And I hate the dumping ground. And I hate that I've said that every day of my life. 365 times a year multiplied by how many years? You're supposed to be my friend. I'll be here forever too. We'll stick it up together. Tea all right? Hmm? What are you angling for? Oh, honestly, people nag you to be helpful, then when you do that, ungrateful. Sorry. Thank you for the tea and everything. Well, I spend a lot of time here, I should help more. It's very mature of you. And good practice when I get my own flat. Have you got any idea how much it costs to rent a flat? This place practically bankrupts me. Do you, um, find it hard to manage the rent on your own? Mm, sometimes. What you need is a mature person to share the flat with. <laughs> oh, I get it. And how would this mature person come up with her share of the rent? Foster me, then. You'll get buckets of money from social services. <laughs> I'll be completely independent. You don't have to look after me or anything. Oh, yeah? No, don't you think you would need just a tiny bit of looking after? I'm not a little kid anymore, in case you haven't noticed. I have noticed you're growing up, but... Growing up in the dumping ground. Like some side case nobody wants. Oh, you are wanted. Very much. Yeah? Then when can I move in? Tracy, I've been making some plans too. Plans, plans, plans. You've always got plans. If you're my friend, how come none of them include me? Thanks, lady. Listen, if I have to follow you all day. I said I don't want to hear it. <sighs> I know it hasn't been a lot of fun for you being in care all these years. No, you don't! I don't want to have dumped you! Tracy, be quiet! You won't be there forever. I won't let you. You ran off before I had a chance to tell you my plans. I was going to keep it a surprise for your birthday. <sighs> 
I have really missed having you with me. To totally mess up my flat and my life. I want to be your foster mum again. The boy was worried about his lost dog patch. His lost dog patch. He had searched and searched. Uh, Shelley, about Tracy's party. Later, Crash. I think you should let her have something special. It's a 13th. I'll think of something. Go on, Hayley. He had searched and searched. Can we talk? What about? I want to foster Tracy again. <gasps> That's fantastic! You tell Duke, I'll phone Elaine and get things moving. Isn't that wonderful? Tracy Beaker finally gets a happy ending. There's no such things as happy endings. There are. There has to be. Hey, I bet even the boy finds his lost dog. It's a story. In real life, Dog Patch would be squished by a car. my birthday presents now because I'm not going to be here for my birthday. Oh, better still just give me the money, I'll buy my own. <laughs> Would you like a new suitcase for your birthday? You've worn the old one out coming back here so often. It's some um, that green makeup you're wearing. Oh no, it's just jealousy. Hey, uh, see ya. What's wrong with you, face ache? Nothing. You're really happy for me? Yeah, of course I am. But? Just go. Have a great life. Whatever. But we were going to stick it out together. Is that it? I could stick it out alone. No way. I'm going to be around here all the time, annoying you and nagging you to come and visit me. Nobody gets away from the beaker that easily. Come on, everybody, a toast. Hey. Hey, Justine. This one's especially for you, to match your face. Dumping ground friends, leaving you will be so fantastic! <laughs> Tracy, there's someone asking to see you. If it's Elaine the Pain with a bunch of people desperate to foster me, she's too late. <laughs> I think you better go and see. Tracy? <laughs> Mum? Is that really my little girl? All grown up? time. What kind of a place are you running here? I don't... Tracy never behaved like this when she was living with me. That was a very long time ago. What do you mean by that? Just that Tracy's got feelings. Do you, can you go and see what the rest of the kids are doing? I can see where she gets her attitude from. It's typical Tracy to go for her guns first and ask questions later. She's a great kid at heart, really she is. I should never have left her in this place. Why do you never have a camera when you need one? Tracy always said her mum would come back for her one day. And you think that's a good thing? Isn't it? Her family's just mess your head up. I bet she's a hopeless mother. You're right. I've been dreaming all my life that one day my mum would knock on that door and take me away. What do I do? 
splat. Oh, it's natural for you to be angry after all these years. Why did she come? You can ask her after Shelley's rung her out. Ha uh ha. -huh. Sorry. I thought she'd forgotten me. Tracy, you won't expect too much, will you? Mm, like what? Well, I mean, it's lovely of her to visit. But don't imagine she's got a big pink limousine waiting outside to take me away from all this. I don't... I don't want you to get hurt. I grew out of those silly dreams years ago. It's good that she came. Now you get to know her a bit better. She'll let me near after what I just did. Oh, she'll be a pushover. No one can say sorry like Tracy Beaker. Because she's I've had, had loads, loads of practice. That a girl. I'm really sorry about the. It's okay. So what brings you back this way? I wanted to see how you were doing, now that you're nearly a teenager. And I have to see someone about a, a job, so I thought I'd stop by and... Oh. In a film. I used to say you were a film star just to impress the other kids. All I need is a break to show them what I can do. Really? Really. I'll show them. I can do anything those Hollywood types can do. Put it up. Wear a bit of makeup. Let's get out of this place. Everyone's so stuffy. Hey, should we go to London? Yeah. Go on then, go get your stuff. Well, hey, we're out of here. Derek, it's me. Really? That's fantastic. I can't believe it. I, I, I can come as soon as you want. Okay, um, give me the number. Right, um, okay, great. You're gonna give someone a heart attack creeping around like that. They call me Crash, which means I don't creep. What kind of name is that? A nickname. So, is there something you wanted? Crash? Ready! I just heard. I got the part. Oh, fantastic! Let's go! We have some celebrating to do. Okay, I'll just go tell Shelley. Oh, let's just make a run for it. Okay.
Wishes could come true. I know. <laughs> wow, you'd have to be rich to shop here. So, let's go shopping. Do some real shopping. I don't see you by that. <laughs> don't be silly. You stole it. <laughs> I've bought lipstick since I was your age. No, look, this is for you. Come here. Ah, uh, no. You see? You look more like my little sister than my daughter. You're so pretty. Can you really think so? <gasps> but mad. I just see Elaine come to jail to bail us out. Who? Our social worker. Elaine the pain. How could you let them just wander off like that? I didn't have much choice, Elaine. It was all rather sudden. I should have been here to interview the mother. Didn't want to give her too much during one day, did you, Shelley? Uh, haven't you got things to do? What time are they coming back? Your guess is as good as mine. This is very unprofessional! I'll pop back later, see how Tracy's day went. with Ben. I'm back in the palace. In St Paul's. I never forgot my little Tracy. I thought about you every single day. I thought of you too. Really? Every minute when I was little. Waiting for you to come back for me. Tracy, I... When I was older, I used to be scared you'd come back when I was at school and they wouldn't tell me. I didn't like being scared, so I got angry with them. I wanted to come back. Why didn't you? Was it my fault? Was I too naughty? Don't be angry. Do you actually think I wanted to leave you in that place? No. Don't cry. I was hardly more than a child myself when I had you. I just couldn't cope. I tried my best. You must remember how much I loved you. You don't know what it was like having to look after someone day and night when everyone else was out having fun. I had no one to help. I was young. I needed some life for myself. That doesn't make me a bad mother. If I could, I'll go back to when you were little and do it better, but I can't. Can you forgive me? Years. 
Laurie's letting me stay at her place for a few days. Tell me about the film you're going to be in. I get to play this beautiful, high-class lady from hundreds of years ago. She's the main character. Wow. It's bound to get me noticed by all the big-time directors. I think you'll be famous. Rich and famous. It's getting late. We should be in Shelley when we get inside. You don't have to ask their permission to stay out. You're right, I couldn't be worried. Let's get back. Why aren't you coming? Well, you remember which bus to take, don't you? That's Derek. He's a friend. He's the one that got me the job on the film. Oh, I have to go. When will I see you again? Tomorrow. I'll come for you tomorrow. <laughs> You should have rung. We don't have to let you know every move we make. Where is your mother? She had to go. She sent you home on your own? I can catch a bus by myself. At this time of night? My mum trusts me, unlike you. She doesn't treat me like a child. I've waited here all day to talk to her. Oh, no. She'll be gutted. Did you have a good time with her? The best. We're going out again tomorrow. OK, we'll talk about it in the morning. Bed. I know you're all there. Come in. OK. Spell. I had a fantastic time. We went everywhere. We saw the whole of London and we went to Hollywood. Liar. Well, a cafe called Hollywood. Mum's friend who she's staying with works there and we had free everything. That's all you'll ever see of Hollywood. My mum's the best. Is she so great? How come she left you here? Well, that wasn't her fault. Besides, the past doesn't matter. It's our future together we have to think of now. What future together? <laughs> she's taking me home with her. <gasps> she's coming tomorrow. Now, would you please all get lost? Thank you. Tracy leaves the dumping ground. I'd rather she goes with you. Look, I don't believe her mum would just take her. It's true. But she hasn't discussed it with anyone. She won't discuss. She'll just disappear and take Tracy with her. Does Tracy want to go with her? Even if she does, you know her mother will just dump her again when she feels like it. Well, we don't know that. So... You're going to just let her go. Come on. Tracy, ready? Has been for ages. Come in. Mm -hmm. This is Elaine. Carly. Hi. I'm Tracy's social worker. 
I've got a cab waiting. Just a few questions. I won't give you a minute. What questions? Before you take Tracy out, we... That is social services. We need to... Are you saying I can't take my own daughter out? No. No, we're, we're delighted you've popped up and we hope you'll stay in Bond. Uh, we just need to know where you're going. <laughs> Why? Safety guidelines. It's just a precaution. She's quite safe with me. Thank you. I'm afraid I'm going to have to insist you tell me. It's procedure. And what if I don't? You have to. I can do what I like with my own daughter. Tracy is not a possession. She's a child who needs proper care. You people. I should have known it was a mistake coming back here. How dare you accuse and interrogate me? <coughs> hey, you know right. You can stick your questions, Tracy! Oh, I'm glad I caught you. Look, I need to talk to you about Tracy. What are you doing here? Tracy, we have to talk. No, no more talking, Tracy. Get your clothes. No, wait. Look, I just want to ask you. You ask me nothing. Tracy is my daughter. Yeah, and I have rights too. Don't fight! And who are you? What rights have you got? I'm Tracy's foster mother. Well, I, I was her foster mother. I was going to foster her again. Is this true? Mum, let's go. I'll explain. Uh, we can talk in the... Oh, let go of me. You people can't tell me what to do anymore. Mum, please. Are you on their side? Can't you see they're trying to split us up again? Them and your precious foster mother. Right, let's all just calm down. They're never going to let me forget. Mum! Don't do it to me again. Why did you do that? Why do you want to take my mum away from me? Tracy, I'm so sorry. I'm never going to forgive you. Any of you. Tracy! Give us some time to think things out and calm down. Go away. You'll get sick if you don't eat. Just get out! I made come into fear. I was scared your mum would let you down again. Well, you were wrong. She came back because she really wanted me. You sure? This is my mother we're talking about. No, you're a bully of a father. At least I know what my father is! I'm not living in some stupid dream world! No. You're living in the dumping ground because you're too chicken to have dreams. So you ruined mine just to keep me here with you. Find her mum. But she doesn't know where she's living. She knows where her mum's friend works. Hollywood Cafe! So what are we gonna do? 
We're going to let her find her mum. Just keep quiet about what we know, right? But what if she can't find her mum? She will. Have you told the staff in your mobile number yet? Then you better not, or they'll ring Tracy on it. They probably tried to take your phone off you in case Tracy calls. But it's on vibrate. They'll never look for it on you. If I ever see Tracy Beaker again, I'm going to kill her. We're all going to get killed. Hand it over. I keep telling you, I lost my phone. I don't believe you. We better let Cam know. If you know something, you'd better tell us or you're going to be in big trouble. What are you going to do? Send us away to a children's home? <laughs> right. I'm calling the police. Tell the truth now, Haley. Now, I know you wouldn't want your friend Tracy to get hurt, would you? So you would tell me if you knew anything. Have you got children? No. Don't you like them either? Of course I do. Well, why don't you have some? My wife and I, we... We can't make babies. You need a little chat with Lynn. She'll tell you how. Hayley! Oh, we know how. We're just unlucky, I guess. Life's a bitch. Bradley, actually. Bradley Bakova. Age? 18. Is not. Uh, nearly. As a matter of fact, I was thinking of joining the force. Oh. Nothing of Tracy's plans. No, but I can make you a cup of tea and help you look for clues. I'm sorry, I don't mix business with pleasure. Through that, she thinks of me as pleasure. <laughs> you here? Um, I just need your address, that's all. Mum's expecting me at your place. Is she? Mm, yeah, didn't she tell you? So why didn't she give you my address? She did. I lost it, I'm hopeless. Tracy, Carly went up north last night to work on the film. Where up north? A place called Hopeston, I think. I don't know why she didn't tell you. If you want my advice, you'll go back where you came from and get on with your life. Why are you saying that? Why does nobody ever give my mum a chance? I'm sorry, Tracy. Yeah. I've said and I've said and I've said. I don't know where Tracy is. She doesn't tell me anything. True. Tracy hates Justine. Is that why she took your phone? Because she hates you? A pretty basic phone, was it? It's better than the thing you've got. You must be mad at her, then. I would be. I'll get her back one day. Why not now? Here, ring her. Just as I thought. Cheap. Call on cops. We need backup. <sighs> You're nicked. Oi. If anything happens to Tracy, you're going to feel pretty bad. OK, we'll take a look in Tracy's room, see what we can turn up there. Yoo-hoo! I'm here! I'm here! <laughs> Please tell me 
you haven't done what I think you've done. with your left hand. <laughs> tut, tut. You're going over the line, constable. Just get me out of this. <laughs> Want to come and see my stickers now? <laughs> Is it hard having to look after a baby all the time? Too hard sometimes, but he's worth it. Aren't you? Where were your parents? Back there. I'd, I'd better go. the situation in the morning. Meanwhile, you lot, think about helping us contact Tracy. We only want to know she's safe. Hayley? This isn't funny. I'll see you out. Tracy, what's happening? Mum's not in London. Neither am I. What? Where are you? What's that noise? I'm on a train. What are you doing on a train? Tracy Beaker, you better send back my mobile phone. I miss you. I miss you, Pest. Then come home. I can't. I have to do this. Tracy, you're right. I've never been better if it's none of your business. Where are you going? Why are you on a train? Mum's in Hopeston. She's left me a ticket to join her. First class. I've been invited as a special guest on the film set. We'll be staying in a huge hotel and in the star of the film. Her stretch limo will be meeting me at the station. Tickets, please. <sighs> Gotta go. Thank you. Hey! Go back here! What's she say? A whole lot of rubbish. Just like she always does when she's scared or unhappy. Where's she heading? Hopeston. Then I'm going after her. Oh, we're in enough trouble as it is. Don't try and stop me.
this should get you to Hopeston. Your sausage job, money. Get going. You all right? Are you in London? Are you lost? Please tell me you're safe. No, yes. No, no, yes. Oh, I'm sorry. I've been frantic. Look, are you okay? I'm fine. Sorry I got mad at you. Oh, no, it was my fault. I miss you. Oh, I miss you. Where are you? I can't tell you. Please, Tracy. I can't. You'll stop me from finding my mum. We can find your mum together. Talk things over. She can come and see you any time she likes. I don't want her to come and see me. I want her to be with me, always. All right. Well, I'll help you. Just tell me where you are. <laughs> nice try. Tracy, if she wanted you, she wouldn't have gone off without you. She thinks the world's against her. Like I do sometimes. Oh, Tracy. People have to come to us. We know they love us. I have to go to her. I'll never forget you. I'm hallucinating. No, you're not. Ow! See? It's all right. I'm alone. How did you find me? How could I miss you? 
haven't found it yet. It's too hard. I've come to help you. We'll find it together. <clears throat> I'm forgiven then? Yeah, sorry. No. It was nice. It's very late. I take it that posh hotels were out of rooms. Crazy? What? Happy 13th birthday. Someone in Hopeston knows where there's a film being made around here. Right, so you take half of Hopeston and I'll ask the other half. Hey! <laughs> what? Come on. Hurry, they'll be getting up soon. Oh, it looks easy in the films. The window has locks on it too. Never get in. Bouncer. Where'd you get these? From deep pocket. Can you read it? <laughs> yeah. Great, let's find Crash. What's your mobile number? Wait. What? We were sending Tracy to live with our mum without even knowing what she did to have Tracy taken away from her. What does it matter? Tracy wants to be with her mum. Yours and Lowell's. I wonder what they wrote about you. Don't. Why not? I've lived through that stuff. I don't want to read about it. Who's Tracy's? Justine. Oh, I won't forget it. Remember? <sighs> what exactly did the phone people say when you phoned? They said there's a castle and you can't miss it. Well, I can't see a stupid castle. Can you see a stupid castle? That pigeon's stalking me. Uh, oh, that castle. Come on. You're starving. <coughs> Stop whinging. Hello? Um, could you tell me please where near Hopeson you're making your film? It's for my school project. Thank you. Okay, phone thief, I'm coming to get you. <coughs> ah! Come back! Hey! <coughs> tell me where in Hopeson Tracy's going! I can't! The kids don't snitch! <coughs>
let's catch him. And let's move on, please. How dare you put my mum on a dangerous horse? What kind of a cheap outfit is this? Tracy, who is this? And what's she doing on my set, man? I'm sorry. If you want a shot of your star on a horse, you should get a stunt double so she doesn't get hurt. If it's any of your business, yeah, which it ain't, she is the stunt double. Wow! Look, it's it's uh, exactly what you think it is. Right, can we please get this feral child off my set? No! Tracy, I could have lost my job. What are you doing here? I ran away to be with you. And the way you talk to the director. Sorry. <laughs> mm. You've got the beak of temper. Did you really come all this way on your own just to see me? To be with you. You really want to be with me that much? That's so sweet. <laughs> no, watch out, mind my dress. <laughs> How did you get so messy? I thought you were playing the main part. Crash! I am. In all the scenes where their precious star might fall down or they need someone strong. It's still the star part. This is the key to my motel in town. Wait for me there and get cleaned up. Hmm? We're going to be celebrating later. I might have a surprise for you. Before. Filming over for the day? Yeah. Oh. Everyone's gone. We're looking for Carly Beaker. 
fired the arrow. Tracy's mother? Oh, you see Tracy? <laughs> She's pretty hard to miss. Yeah, <laughs> go in. No, no, no we'll have to wait till Shelley. Why? Shelley, can we go in? Hey, Tracy's here. Crash is with her. Oh, They're okay. safe. Thank goodness. <laughs> They're at the Hope Still Inn with Tracy's mother. So, what happens now? Where is she? Who knows? Maybe she had an accident? Yeah. She accidentally forgot she had a daughter again. Tracy. Sorry. Hello? Hi. Crash? Can you put Tracy on? It's not a very good time. What's wrong? She's upset. Her mum hasn't come home from work yet. Well, where is she? I don't know. Maybe she's still filming. Right, I'm coming to get her. Don't come, please. But I... She doesn't want us. She wants her mum. Can you tell her I rang to say happy birthday? Yeah. On and on they travel, making the longest, hardest journey of their lives. But it's a journey that has to be made if the wildebeest are to survive. For the young animals, there is no mercy. Tracy! Mum! Hi, sweetheart. You okay in the motel? Where are you? I told you, darling. My surprise. Remember? See you soon. She didn't forget. Tracy, it wasn't your mum who did all this. this way after me, even when I told you I was all right. I was worried about you. And you did all this for me? When I found out your mum hadn't arranged anything, I couldn't bear it. It's your 13th. I wanted it to be special. It will be if you take me to see my mum. Please. It's what I want.
come back. You'll get me thrown out. You go back to the motel and wait for me. I don't want to go back there. You do what I tell you. Sweetheart, I told you I'd be home soon. You said you had a surprise for me. I have. We're going to Hollywood to do stunts in another film. That's your surprise? Hollywood. It's my big chance. Don't worry. We'll send for you as soon as we get settled. No, you won't. You'll get there and just let me down again. What's she doing here? I'm not staying. Just one thing. Tell me you really want her. Tell me she's the most important person in the world to you. How dare you? Of course she's important to me. Well, then look after her properly, or you'll have me to answer to. Mum. It's my birthday today. My 13th. Oh. You forgot. It's been a long time. I'll, I'll make it up to you. 27th of September. What? Your birthday. Tracy, I do love you. And I love you. I can't help it. But you're a hopeless mother, you always were. You're not a little baby anymore. I know. I'm not growing up either. I still need someone to look after me. Just a tiny little bit. Mum, I want to go and live with Cam. I came to ask your permission for her to foster me. And then the pain says that if you want a box of chocolates and someone only offers you half a box, you should take it. She's right. For once. Why do some people only get half a box? Take good care of her for me. Come and see for yourself. Any time. You can count on it.
you why I know my destiny Cause in my jeans I see There'll be a better place to run right in front of me I can make my world come true All my jeans will see me through And this one won't get me down My jeans will turn things all around With the sun upon my face I can see a better place Doesn't matter what may come my way My wife. Her name's Helen. Hi. Hi, Hayley. Mark has been telling me all about you. We wondered if we could take you out. Get to know you. And if we get along, maybe... 